Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I thought it would be fun to make some Tim Holtz tags. Um, so I have some Tim Holtz bits here. I've got these wonderful photos uh, from, what's it called, the 36 Pieces Snapshots. And there's the skew on the back. And then I have some, this has already been opened, this is layers. And that's the skew there. You can see the number. And just got some various botanical pieces. And I have some uh, little uh, tickets. I'm not sure whether I'll use those or not. But I know I have these bases. And these are Tracy Fox from her layered tags for field notes. And I thought it would be kind of fun to use some brads. I have my Tim Holtz pokey tool. I thought, what if we attached like the photo with the brad? This is just on paper, and then I'll attach them to a a sheet afterwards. So I'm thinking, like, if we put a like a picture on like this, and yeah, <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna put. Grab the glue. I'm thinking if I glue a picture to the top, across the top, maybe across the bottom, and something could, if you want it afterwards, you could slip something in the back. Whether or not we'll use it that way, I don't know. But there's that picture, little fellow with bikes. Oh, these gorgeous children. My goodness, I have this thing about photos of families and children. I don't know, it just takes me back for sure with my family. And if we just attach that here. So we've got those two. Let's just do a few. I wonder, do I have any long, narrow ones that might work? are super cute. They're almost, some of them are almost feel like they're a little bit too big. That one's too wide. Yeah, I think we have to pretty much stick with the really narrow, the really, oh, here's one. This will fit, I think. Look at these people, so cute. So I'm going to set that there. We'll start it this way and then see how it See how it goes, because I'm not 100% sure how it's all going to come together. So I'm just going to put that down like that. And these gals at the beach. I think I must have used some of these already. I don't know. So these are, like I said, Tracy's layered tags. And I haven't altered the size. This is the size they they print at. Do you want to use any more of these? I think let's just stick with four for now. Yeah, let's just do four. Okay, I'm going to move these out of the way. And I'm going to start from our first one. And my thought is, what if we put the pokey tool we poke through the top corners. I'm making sure my finger is not behind there. This would be a good time to have a, a book to push that into. I want to use a couple of the Tim Holtz. They're thinner. Here's one. Silver. And part of the reason I don't have the back on these yet is that I know I don't want I didn't want the brad to come through the tag. So this way, if I do it, if I put the brad on just the paper, then I can put the back on separately. That's my thought anyway. So, so I like those like that. Um, and let's just do as many as we can. With the breads that I have. Let's see if I've got another silver one. 
And another silver one. Okay. Could use a couple of the bigger ones. Just grabbing these. And I think these are Tim Holtz too, these stars. Let's use this star. Okay. As well. So I'm just going to poke the hole through the top one. Like that. Let's put these stars in here. So I hope you guys are all well. We're doing great. It's earlier, it's almost supper. Actually, I had an early supper today. So I'm just, isn't that cute with the stars at the top? Um, yeah, hubby is away. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to make a video because I've got nothing else I really need to do in the moment. I use one of these bigger ones since this is a longer uh, tag. So, get that on there. I like that size. I like the, the size of the, the head on these for sure. It just, and I, with that being a, a bigger um, picture, I think it just shows up really nicely. And then I'll move along to this one. I'm not going to put the on the bottom, just on the top because I'm thinking that I'll put some form of a um, some form of a digital image on the bottom like a flower or something. Okay, so we've got all of those. I'm going to pick these back up or attempt to get them back in the jar. There we go put the cover on just to be safe. Okay, so I want to attach them. It may not be a digital image. It may be one of the Tim Holtz images. So I've got this really pretty floral and I thought why don't I put attach them on there. So that's what we're gonna do. Get my glue on, put some glue where I have the bread. I think this should work. Okay. So I'm going to put this over here. Like that. I don't think there's any direction really to this paper. Yeah, it could go anyway. So I feel like I just want to press around where the brads are. I feel like I'd be able to um, get this on here fairly well. So we'll put the glue on here. I've never really done this before. I've, I've put things over brads before, you know, when I've made it, a, a, you know, like a spot where you might uh, take a piece of hemp or something as a toggle almost. But um, I haven't done it in this sort of way. So it seems like it would work, doesn't it? feel like it would. So I'm just kind of eyeballing to make sure I'm on the paper. I want to see if I make sure I get the all four on here. It shouldn't be a problem. Get these cuties up here. This is a smaller tag. So get my glue on there. Get things worked up. So yes, um, hubby's at the cottage. She's doing some uh, work on the on the uh, roof. Again, post post hurricane, post Fiona damage um, that we need to address. So it's all good. We'll get this one on. I mean, I say it's all good. It's it's all costly, I have to say. None of it is, is cheap. I know I said in a previous video that we were having a lot of, um, had some trees removed that were 
uh, in the path, like a late path of the prevailing winds during a hurricane, just based on experience, um, we don't need to be going through all of that again. So, okay, so we've got all of this. I'm just going to cut these out and take it from there. So I'm going to cut them What I'm going to try and do is use my my Tim Holtz cutter and um, I think that will do, do the trick. So we'll use this cutter and attempt to cut it as long as I'm not too close to the bread. I should be able to do it. So, and I apologize if some people find this noise too loud, but. One of those necessary things. So I'm just, I'll cut the top out separately. Just give this a good old cut. Getting it lined up is the only challenge. It's not too bad. It's not too hard to do, really. Okay, that one. And then, let's see, we'll do this one. Like so. Okay, we're almost there, guys. We're almost there. Yeah, I've been enjoying just getting caught up by um, in getting some ephemera made. I'm going to have lots for when I do some journals in the fall. That's my hope anyway. Okay, we'll move this, move these papers out of the way. Okay, so the next part is just to cut it like that. Isn't that great? I love how happy that um, scrapbook paper is in the back. And these layered tags are just so great. And I mean, Tracy, a lot of her stuff really gives off a Tim Holtz, you know, that kind of, uh, a number of his, his things have a lovely sort of grungy feel to them. So, yeah, I really like it. Okay, so we've got these. There we go. So we've got our tags like that. Let me come in a little tiny bit. That might feel a little bit closer for you. And like I said, I have some of these. These are Tim Holtz bits. And maybe these would be what we want to use. Look at that. Isn't that great? Something like that. I think I like, I think I like something with a little bit more color like this here. There's a lot of glare off of that. Let's just see what we have and maybe make some choices. Oh, I love this, with this beautiful tag. And it's nice to use some of the Tim Holtz pieces here in different places. Oh, that's lovely. Like that over here, maybe. I like seeing these um, labels underneath. This may turn out to be a very quick video if things together come together as quickly as they have been here. 
Okay. This might look really nice right there, and it does. I really like that right there. I'm just seeing it after that last one having bits come out. Like, wait now. This probably has some beautiful bits as well. Just to give it a little bit more definition. Take those bits out. Are there any bits? No bits in here. Okay. Gosh, I'm so sorry I'm making a mess here. Oh, and I lost the butterfly. Is that what we want here or do we want? Just lots of lovely things here. Nope, nope, nope. Is that too big? I just don't see much of the... Oh, that's nice. Okay, I like that better than the white flower there. All right. So all kinds of stuff. Sorry, put all that mess over there. Okay, let's, let's glue these on. So yeah, very simple. It's nice when you have these die cuts and I just, I'm just trying to use them more. They have a tendency because they're not cheap. They have a tendency, they're not inexpensive, I should say. They're a good quality, but it, they have a tendency to just kind of stay in my, in my drawer. Um, and it's mostly because, you know, you don't want to wanna waste them. But you know what? If you're using them for making, you're not wasting them. They're... If you're getting some joy from using them, you're not wasting them. So, and this is, these are going to be very pretty, I think. Very, very pretty. So I'm putting this on this side because um, that way it doesn't impede the image of these kids. So I'll put that down there. Get some glue on here as well. So, sorry, I get quiet while I'm getting that glue in some of the little, the small bits. I think I'll put it over here. Like that. Really cute. It's fun to have the brads too. I feel like this is a, a birthday party that these kiddos are at here in this last picture. So I'll get my glue down. Okay. No, I don't wanna don't wanna block anybody. Everybody's beautiful face. So we'll come over this side where we won't. I might have ended up right underneath his his head. We don't want that. Okay. So we have the four, and I think they look fabulous. Um, now my thought is the reason I put a glue across here and then across the bottom is that you could. You get these little cards. You could slot a card in one of these little cards. And just pull it out like a little tab. So we've got the birds. Oh, look at that one. That's upside down, but that's okay. We'll set it like this. Um, we'll see whether or not Ooh, this is cool. This is a big old map. This is Central Park. Okay. Do we put that in here? Actually, we should use this one because it's up and down. Let's do this because that's longer. We'll set that one like that. I notice we have another one. Put this bird here. And let me just see if I have another one. Otherwise, I'll try and figure something out with that. There's this that is a map and they're on their bikes. So it could 
fold it in half like that and we can pretend it's for Central Park we can pretend that they are going to use that map to go around the park <laughs> bit of a stretch I know but it's all good so I think that's it as simple as that and I actually have a couple of clips these have the image of a clip but you could put a clip up here and take this clip and put it up here so we end up with four sweet tags with a little little tuck spot using Tracy Fox backgrounds and Tim Holtz die cuts the snapshots and then the uh, layers isn't that cute my, I, I don't know, I, I was thinking I might put, like, a, take the tab here and, and cut some tabs to put on those so that we don't lose them. We have time, don't we? Let me just grab, I'm going to grab this image and use it to make the, I'm going to cut this, make the tabs and see if we like it. I can always print this out again, so it's all good. So I'm going to go one, two, oh, and I can get two more from the bottom here. If I budget it correctly, and we'll see whether or not they work for, for what we're doing. have a look and see what we think. So oh, that one's got a bit of a got a bit of a tear in it. That's okay. That's what we'll do. We'll cut it off. We're not going to waste. We'll cut it off. It's all good. That one actually doesn't need one. Um, but these might. So let's let's do this. And I quite like, you don't always, always have to use cardstock for making these tabs. Um, you can definitely use just regular paper, any kind of paper that you have. And I like the idea of this guy having this right here. And then just fold it over. So now we have a tab like so. It's got the stitches to match and then we can set it like that. So we've got that one. We've got this one. Get our glue on there. Seeing as how we had the time, why not? We can Hopefully this will fit. And if it doesn't, the thing of it is we can trim it. Well, that fits well. Okay. Just like that. It's the back. So we've got ourselves a little tab card going in. And then this one as well. Love that bird. We will do the same thing and put that, get that in there. And if you want it, you could uh, just punch a hole in the little, the little cards that are going in and um, put a little bit of um, twine or sari or something in it. But I noticed that I actually had the tab punch here, which is in itself a feat. Love that. Right there. There we go. And then we have this one that we don't need a tab for because it's pretty thick and folded. Okay, let me just show you each of them individually so you can see. So there's this cute one. We've got the clip at the top and that. 
And you can see you don't even really feel. Gosh, it's really good to do it that way. You don't even feel. It's not easy to feel the ends of those brats, so I'm really happy with that. Isn't that cute? That one. This one as well. Yeah, really happy. Like that. And then this one. And don't feel, no. I mean, I can feel them if I try, but they're not obvious. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me and helping me make these fun Tim Holtz uh, tags. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.